morning. We're back again today and today, the day of the week begins with this sound. My boys and girls, we talk about it being this silly day, don't we? Because you have to stick your tongue out. Thursday. It's Thursday today. Now this week, we've been thinking about our new book, haven't we? Can you remember what was the title of our new book? What was it called? It was called Little Lamb. And who can we see on the front cover? Who's this? Sheep. It's a sheep. It's a little lamb. It's a baby sheep called a lamb. So today, for our crafting, we're going to make some sheep. All right, so I'm going to show you all the different things that we've got because I know it's really hard, isn't it, to find things to be crafty with on week four of being locked down in our houses and we can't really get much from the shopping. So it's hard to have a fan, it's hard to look and find what we've got. So I've had a good rummage around my house this morning. So I'm gonna put the sheep book away. Okay, so this morning I have found some fluff. So you might have some cotton wool. So I found some fluff, it's really nice and soft. Do you want to touch it? Oh, what does it feel like? Custard. Feels like custard. Feels yeah. like custard apparently. So it's really nice and soft and fuzzy and fluffy. And um, what colour is it? Can you tell me what colour wool this is? It's white. Well done. We've got some white, white wool. Now I also found, you might have cotton wool at your house. I also found some of these, some pom-poms. I found some pom-poms and the pom-poms are white and fluffy. Now I did also find some brown pom-poms because you can get brown sheep and you can get black sheep as well. Do you remember the sign for sheep that Janet showed us? Sheep. Can you do it? Sheep. sheep. Have a go. Sheep. sheep. Yeah. So you can get black and brown sheep. Luna's got a black pom-pom as well. And I found some pipe cleaners. I told you, didn't I? We always have pipe cleaners at my house. So I found some fuzzy pipe cleaners. I could only have white though. And for some reason, we do have a lot of googly eyes at our house. So I found some googly eyes as well. But you, there's also, there's loads and loads of different things you can use. So I've also got some paint. So what colour paint have I got in there? What colour is that? Uh, it's white. Bye. Yeah, well done. And I've also got this colour paint. What colour is that? It's brown. brown. Yeah, it's I've got some brown paint. Brown. You can use it in a minute. Okay, you might have black paint as well. If you can't find any of those colours, you can make a bar bar rainbow sheep, can't you? doesn't have to be brown or black or white. And you also need, if you're sticking things, you need some glue. So we've got some glue and some glue spreaders as well. Okay, so I've also got some scissors. I'm going to talk about scissors in a little bit, but first let's do some sticking. Okay. Oh, I've got some scissors. You've got your scissors there ready, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some sticking. Now, I am going to make three sheep because yesterday we were talking about size, weren't we? So I'm going to make a small sheep, teeny weeny. I'm going to make a medium sheep, a middle-sized sheep, and I'm going to make a big, large ginormous sheep okay so i'm going to make three sheep three different sizes they might be baby mummy and daddy or mummy might be bigger than daddy who knows so you can talk about shape and size today when we're doing our sticking and making our sheep so i'm going to make my um oh who shall i make first i might make my, my small sheep first so i'm going to use a pom-pom throwing it away going to use a pom-pom to make my small sheep so I'm going to need a bit of glue on my paper and I'm going to do a dab of glue like that I'm going to put my small sheep's body on and it's a pom-pom like that so I've just put a body on like that I need some glue yeah you do yours okay right then I'm going to make my medium sized sheep I think my medium sized sheep 
is going to be a brown sheep. I'm going to paint it with my dabber. So because it's a medium sized, it's not really, really big, but it's bigger than the small sheep. It's bigger than the small sheet, so I'm dab, dab, dabbing to make it look fluffy. Like that. Okay. Now, can you see I've got my small sheep? And then this one is bigger. This one is my middle-sized sheep. You're dabbing as well. You go on then. You crack them. Okay, now I've just done the bodies. I've not done any heads yet. Now then I'm going to use my fluff for my big sheep, my biggest sheep. So when I'm looking at my fluff, I need to make sure it's bigger than my medium sized sheep, don't I? So it needs to be bigger. <gasps> Look at that. Look at my three different sheep. So I'm gonna need lots of glue, I think, for this fluff. So let's get lots of glue. And spread it all over. Spread, spread, spread. Oh, Luna, you're doing some excellent dabbing for your sheep. That's wonderful. I'm gonna do brown. What are you doing? Ginormous. Ginormous. Oh, Luna sheep is ginormous, she said. Really big sheep. Oh, wow, it is ginormous. I'll have to show you in a minute Luna's ginormous sheep. It's huge. It's very big. Right, I think I've got enough glue, so I'm gonna stick on my big, my biggest sheep on there, look. Like that. Oh, there we go. All right, can you see my three different size sheep? Small, medium, or middle sized, and big. We've got one, two, three sheep on there. So, mummies and daddies, even when we're crafting, we can still do maths, we can still do super learning, and it's really fun as well. Okay. Right, now then. There's lots of different things you can do for the legs. So, today I'm going to use my black crayon and I'm going to draw some legs on my mummies and daddies no laughing because you know how good Sam's drawing is and I think I might use my pipe cleaners for my legs for my big sheep and then we need to do the head start with Luna Luna that looks excellent cool eyes you're going for your googly eyes. You need your glue then, don't you? Stick your glue. I've got lots and lots of glue. Stick one leg. How many legs? How many legs should they have, these sheep? What do we think? Anybody know? Do you know how many legs your sheep needs to have? Well, I've stuck on two. One, two. And there. I'm going to stick on two more as well, so that would make uh, I'm not, four. I've uh, not got a bob or black sheep. <gasps> bob or black sheep. Let's have a look. I'll show you my four legs. I've got glue on my fingers now. I've got sticky fingers. Right, are we ready? There you go. One, two, three, four legs on that sheep. Right, now we're going to do the heads. So, this is where you need some scissors. Now, if you've only got really, really big scissors in your house, then you need a grown-up to help you because scissors, these bits here, are really sharp and they can cut you. They are dangerous and you must have a grown-up with you when you're using scissors. But I know some boys and girls will have some small scissors for children. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I'm showing the boys and girls first and you can have them there. So you might have some small scissors. Now you do need a grown up to be with you when you're using these scissors, but it's really important for nursery children, for boys and girls to be practicing using scissors because when you go into reception, you need to be able to use your scissors all by yourself, don't you? So it is really important for children to be able to use scissors and to practice when it's safe, when there's a grown up there to help at home. Me and Luna have been doing lots of practicing using scissors if you've been making the Play-Doh, Play-Doh is a really good thing to chop up with scissors because it's nice and soft. Okay, so I have drawn my sheep's head already. How many heads have I got for my sheep? Can we see? One, 
two, three. Fantastic counting. Well remembered, everybody. So I've got three heads. Which one? Have a look. Which one is the biggest? Which head is the biggest head? Oh, did you get it? It's that one. Well done. Can you point which one is the middle sized head? Which one is middle sized? Wow, well done. And then which one is the smallest head? Can you point to the smallest one? Yeah, well done. There it is. That one is the smallest one. So we're going to cut them out and the children can also have a really good go at drawing the circles themselves. So if you can draw a circle with your pencil for your sheep head, that's amazing. So you could have a go at doing that and you can cut it out yourself. So Luna, do you want to cut your head out? Let's show these boys and girls how we hold our scissors and you can have a go at cutting your head. So you need to have a think about how you hold your scissors. And let children have a go doing it themselves because they can make their fingers comfortable in the scissors. Hang on, how do you hold your scissors? Like that. Yeah, that's it. It's too hard. You're really good. Hold it in your hand. Oh, it's too hard. All right, well, I'll help you in a minute. I'm going to show the boys and girls first. All right, so you need to cut your heads out. Like that. Nice and careful. And it is important to let the children have a go at doing this by themselves. Because then they can practice. Luna's having a good go, aren't you, Luna? And you can stick the little head on onto your sheep's body. Like that. Oh, brilliant. I can't wait to see all the pictures of your sheep that you've been making. Now, I'll very quickly stick my other two on. May. Oh, Luna, you're that. doing some excellent cutting. Let's have a look at Luna's cutting. There you go. She's got a set of shades on today because it's a sunny day. That's fantastic. And it doesn't have to be perfect, does it? Because it's about the children's work and it's about them learning to do it by themselves and having a good go and enjoying it. So it's not about taking off the scissors off the children and cutting out a perfect circle so that they've got a picture that looks pretty. It's about what's their work and what they've tried hard to do. All right. That man, my picture's not perfect and it doesn't look very pretty. And you know how um, interesting Sam's drawing is, but it doesn't matter because I'm having fun doing it. That's it. Oh, Luna, that cutting is fantastic. That's super duper. Put my glue on. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And I've got my family of sheep, my small one, my medium one, and my big one. There you go. So have a go. See what you can find to make your sheep. Don't forget, talk about the different shapes and sizes. Encourage children as well to talk about what all the different materials feel like and let the children draw their own heads using a circle. Let them draw different size circles and make sure they have a go using those scissors so that when we're back in nursery school, lots and lots of children will be fantastic at using scissors all by themselves. Luna's still having a really good go there. That's wonderful. I just love that picture. Okay, nice to see you and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.